guys, well, this morning, early as it is, we're going to do a wee tutorial on how to do a DIY hammock. I have done one for myself, it's hanging outside, but for the purpose of this video, I'm going to just do a smaller version. So we need a tarp, obviously for a leprechaun, but to give you an idea of the size, you're going to need a flat sheet from a standard double bed is about your average size for any kind of hammock for the fit, just about anyone. So you'll need a sheet, cheap tarp, cheap plastic tarp that would do, uh, a few pieces of rope and a couple of bits of wood as toggles, but that's basically it. So to start with, you get your sheet, two ends, lengthways, and put an accordion fold or a concertina fold in the end of it back and forward on itself. Once you've that done all the way across, you pinch it and hold it tight. A piece of rope, which I happen to have here, uh, 18 inch to 20 inch is all you're going to need. So you get about 7, seven inches from the end and double it like this. And make a loop, hold it on the end of your tarp where it's punched up start wrapping from the end in towards the center over itself and as you can see move it right across it and keep keep it tight as you're going once you've got a few wraps on it doesn't matter how many just whatever you feel comfortable with <coughs> then through the loop at the bottom that you've created and grab this other end at the end of it and pull that will then slide that end of the rope inside your lashing now that in itself will hold, however, <coughs> for extra safety and strength, I get the two ends and use a reef nut, which is an overhand nut, on top of an overhand nut, so that will hold it extra strong, extra secure, and you can trim your ends. So basically that's one end of your hammock done. Uh, same thing with the other end, concertina fold or accordion fold, pinch it and lash it the same way. Once you've that done, you need another piece of rope which you then make into a loop. Uh, let me see, a smaller piece, just a small piece, 18 again, 20 inch, so you need. And the same again, <coughs> reef nut in the end to hold it, which is left over right, right over left, overhand knot on top of an overhand knot gives you a reef nut. Make sure that's tight and that's not going anywhere. You have a loop. Then you get your loop at the end of your hammock with these trimmed off, of course. I'm going to trim those now. Let me know. Snip that one off and that one off. So it's a lot easier. And that holds it nice and tight, neat. Nothing in the way. We got our loop and we put one end of it around the inside of your lashing and put it through itself and pull tight. Once that's tight, that's not going anywhere. That is going to hang your hammock. So same steps repeated on the other end and as you can see, you can imagine this would be your hammock. Now to lash it to a tree what we then need is another piece of rope or tree straps, they're better for the trees. However, another piece of rope again uh, depends on the length, how the distance between your two trees. Uh, if your hammock is roughly seven feet long, you're going to need two trees that are seven feet apart or more. And if they're more, you need longer rope than this because it has to be around the tree and then hook onto the end of the hammock. So, what we want to do is put a knot on the end which is, or a loop in the end, sorry. You make your loop, <coughs> and we'll do a figure eight loop, which is again, like an overhand knot, you wrap it around itself, come underneath, and back in through, and pull it tight. An overhand knot will do the same thing, but this is a lot easier to undo if you need to. That gives us a loop on the end of the rope. Now, this goes around your tree. 
for that, we go here. Now if you can imagine that this is our tree, a bit small, but if it's a tree, it's a tree. This loop goes around your tree and again through itself and you put it tight. Once that's tight, that's not going to go anywhere off your tree. That's your tree's going to hold that. Now to attach the hammock to this end, what we're going to need to do is a marlin hitch, marlin spike hitch, which involves, I use a screwdriver for this purpose, but you will need a small wooden toggle, probably about three inches long. So this, you hold in your arm, the marlin spike hitch, we make a loop, put it over itself, and from the tree section, where it's hardened, or it's, it's stuck onto it, you put your toggle, or screwdriver in this case, over, under, and over, and pull tight. That will then not go anywhere. That will hold. So to attach this, then what we do is, simply slip our loop, on the end of our hammock over our toggle and rest it on the nut. Don't rest it on the toggle because if the toggle is made from a piece of wood it can't snap. You rest it on the nut it won't go anywhere and that will hold. So that will be one end of the hammock held tight to a tree. Now the marlin spike hitch can't be adjusted. It's easy undone, just unhook it, unlash it, that's your can it be off here? Hammock off. If you have a longer gap between your hammock between your trees, so you need longer piece of this rope, all you do is undo your, your spike and it will pull out itself. So you can further down the rope. Let me show you here. <coughs> Come further down the rope, and again the marlin spike hitch is just a loop. Fold it over itself. And your toggle over, under, and over. I put tight. That's just now further away from our tree. And again, your loop goes over the toggle and rests on the nut. That keeps the hammock then further away from the tree. If the trees are closer, again, you just put the marlin spike hitch closer to the tree. This pulls straight out. It just does it undoes itself. So you go closer to the tree to keep your hammock tighter. Make your loop, fold it over itself, and put your toggle in and pull it tight. And that is now closer to the tree, that'll keep your hammock tighter and further off the ground. It won't droop. Now we'll show you one I made earlier. Oh me. Here's the one I made earlier. And it works. How easy is that? So Obviously you have nothing better to do with your time, so get out there, get a bed sheet, ask permission of course, a couple of bits of rope, and try it yourself. This can be used if you're an outdoorsy person, and you want to go camping, but haven't got a tent, a hammock with a, a tarp over the top of it for cover, will do right now. It's easy to put together. If you're not sure of anything else, just skip this video back and watch it again. Alright folks, bye.